Hello, everyone. Welcome to Beyond One Way. We are using red lentils today to make delicious crunchy granola. You can eat it as a snack or use it as a topping for cereals, yogurt, or ice cream. Let's get started. First, wash half cup of dry red lentils until the lentils are clean. See how cloudy the water can be? Wash and rinse a few times until the water is clear. Cook the lentils with one and a half cups of water. Bring the water to a boil, then simmer for eight minutes. In the meantime, break some walnuts into small pieces. As you can see, they break apart easily by hand. No knife needed. You can also use different types of nuts or seeds like almonds or pumpkin seeds. Use whatever you have on hand. The lentils are ready when they are semi-solid in the middle. Rinse the lentils with cold water to stop them from cooking further and remove the excessive water. Pat the lentils dry with paper towels. The drier the lentils, the crunchier the granola will be. Now mix all the dry ingredients in a bowl. Rolled oats, cooked lentils, cinnamon, walnuts, and kosher salt. In another bowl, let's mix our wet ingredients. Oil. I have refined coconut oil here, but you can use any oil. Maple syrup and apricot jam, although any jam will work. Pack them in the jam helps set the granola into bigger chunks, which is how I like to eat my granola. Now mix them together. I know these are simple ingredients, but this smells so good. It is going to be so delicious. No one says yummy food has to be complicated, right? Pour the lentil granola mixture on a parchment paper lined baking sheet for easy cleaning and spread the mixture thicker on the sides and thinner in the middle so that the granola on the sides will not get burned while the middle is still baking. Press the granola mixture firmly into the pan. Another tip to make chunky granola. Bake at 325 degrees for 20 minutes. Then rotate the baking sheet and bake for another 18 minutes. I found that not stirring the mixture while baking is one of the keys to having chunky granola. After a total of 38 minutes of baking time, let it set on the cooling rack until it is completely cooled before eating. Otherwise, you may not taste the crunchiness you are looking for. See how easily the big chunks come apart? And hear that crunch? By the way, if they are no longer crunchy after a few days, just put them in a toast oven or back to the oven to bake them again between 275 to 300 degrees for 3 to 5 minutes. They will become crunchy again. Just a little tip there. Eat them as a snack or use them as a topping. However you do it. Happy eating and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video. See you next time.